Hey guys, today we're going to be trying out the Dyson. It's like a three in one, it's a straightener, it's a blow dryer, and it's a curler. And my hair, like, it struggles to curl. So we're going to see, like, how it works out today. So we're going to get right into the video and we're going to be trying out the hair dryer and we're going to see how it works. Like, $500 or $300 ain't mine, it's my mom's. But um, we're going to see how it works out and maybe if there's like other similar dupes, y'all can comment those down below that are like cheaper and I can purchase that and compare it to the Dyson. This is a little messy, but this is like the main compartment thing and you can take off the top nozzle. First, I'm going to start off by blow drying it by using this piece. And then I'll show you the other attachments like once I'm ready to use them because I'm going to straighten my hair and then I'm going to curl it also. So it has like different levels. This is for, I think this is on and off. This is um, the amount of wind that you want to come out of it. And then this is temperature. Okay, so I'm going to section off my hair and I'm going to blow dry the sections. I'm going to get back to y'all and show y'all how it looks blow dry. Okay, so this is the piece that I blow dried. I kind of like stretch my hair out when I blow dry it, but it does work better. It didn't help that I had it on backwards like for half of it, so it goes this way. <laughs> and um, yeah, I like the way it turned out. Like I'm still blow drying and stuff, but it's pretty, it's pretty well blow dried really quick. Like the, um, the power of this works really well. Like it's better than any of the other blow dryers that I have. Hey, so this is how it turned out. I blow dried my hair and then next I'm just going to straighten it with one of the brushes. And it blow dried pretty well. Like it went through my hair really quick. It only took me like 10 minutes to blow dry it and do the sections and everything because the like power of it is so strong. Like you saw it like blowing this back. And the only thing is when you're blow drying it, like the only way you'll get your hair to stretch out is if you like, you have to like pull down a little bit and then blow dry on top of it so that your hair is like semi straight a little bit. If that makes sense. Okay, so this is the next piece we're going to use, and we're going to use this to straighten my hair. And we're I'm going to show you how that looks like when I'm doing it. And for that part, I'm not going to section my hair too small. Ah, my earring. Okay, so this is the section. Well, I'm going to split this in half. And we're just going to wrap this around. And so this is the section that we're going to start off with. Okay, so this is how it looks like when I ran through it a few times. It's not that straight. I do need to clip my ends. Maybe that's why it looks like this. But it's not the most straight. I don't know if there's like another piece that I can use instead. I'm gonna try this one on the piece. So just gotta unlock it. And put the new one on. We'll see. Okay, this is how it looks. I went through a few times with both of the pieces. It still isn't the straightest that it could be, but I think it looks better when I use this. So I'm gonna use this piece to go through all of my hair and then we're gonna curl it. So I'm gonna get back to y'all when I'm finished um, using this piece on all of my hair and we're gonna see how it turns out all together. Okay, 
so I finished blow drying it. Um, it's pretty straight on the top, but the back, it always, like, my hair never straightens in the back unless it's with a straightener. But it's done like a pretty blowout. Like, that's a cute little puff ponytail to me. Um, I'll just brush it out a little bit with this, and then I'm going to show you it again. Okay, now you can see, like, how it really looks. Looks like a really cute blowout to me. Um, and now we're going to get into the part that I'm most nervous about, curling it, because my hair never curls, but if it comes out cute, I actually like how this looks, I'm not even going to lie, it looks kind of cute, but, um, if it comes out right, curling it is literally perfect because my hair cannot hold curls at all. And we're going to see how that turns out. And I used this one instead of the other one because this produces more air because like the holes and stuff. And this one didn't produce as much um, holes in it. So it's like less heat. Like I could literally feel the heat from this on my ear. Like it produced so much wind and heat to it. So like it's like way better than the other one for my hair. And it did get the top of my hair pretty straight. And so now we're going to try to curl my hair and we're going to see how it looks. So there's literally so many different curling sizes. It came with this many. I am going to do this kind of like medium big one because I do want it to look like Bantanops. And I'm going to use this one also so that it's like not all the curls are the same size. So let's see how this turns out. And for this part of it, I am going to add this one because I want to have like a finishing shine without adding a lot of oil. Okay, now we're just going to part this around my ear. Oh, look at this piece, it's really straight. So I'm just going to do like two squirts so that, well, what can we do? for sure a curl. Let me take this apart. Oh, that is really curly. I don't know how I feel about this curl. It wasn't quite how I wanted it to look like. Maybe a smaller one would look a little less um, big like that. This is a much better curl. Not quite the curls that I wanted. It doesn't really look like a bean to not curl. But um I think we're just going to do the whole thing and just see how it turns out. We'll see. So I redid that piece and I kind of got the kind of curl that I want. So let's see. Okay, so here are all the curls that I have so far. I don't know how they're gonna turn out. I think it's gonna be cute, but I'm not completely sure. I'm gonna show you how I did the pieces because I finally got it down, kind of. I wish it was like a smaller piece for this. This is the skinniest one that there is. And these are still like really big curls. I just, so there's an arrow and it's going to pull your hair in that direction. So I just put my hair near it and then it's going to suck up and then I just go do 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 all the way up, hold it, and then I roll it back down to get it out. And I hold it for 20 seconds. So I'm gonna show you. There is your curl. Whoa, that's a big curl. So we're just gonna pull this apart. So that's your curl. I don't know. I don't know how this is turning out. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Because the worst. Oh, look at them curls. We're just gonna keep going. We're just going. We're just going. Some of them ain't working out. 
I feel like my hair would have to be like bone straight to make it look cute. So I'm just gonna brush them out and I'm gonna go and straighten my hair instead and see how straight I could get it and then I'm gonna show y'all. Because I'm gonna try the brush now and see how straight I could get my hair with this. And I'm gonna use the heat protectant first because I want the finished look to be shiny. Okay, so this is the best I could get it. Um, it could just give me like a really good blowout. That's about it. Um, I'll probably give this like a 8.5 out of 10. I wish I could get my hair like actually straight, but I've seen that it's done my sister's hair pretty straight, but it is, it does give you a really cute blowout. Like my roots are straight in case I want to like do like a cute hairstyle or something. Um, it works really fast, like really fast. Like it will cut your like blow drying time in half. Um, your hair's pretty straight, so when you do straighten it, it will like already be almost ready, and it doesn't take long at all. It took me like um, to blow dry it, like at the beginning, it took me 10 minutes. When I did um, this one, that took me about 30 minutes though, because I was taking my time. But um, and then this one, I just went through it um, like for I would say like 10 minutes. And so overall, it's like 40 minute blow dry and it's pretty, pretty well done. So if you were planning on straightening your hair, you're already like more than halfway done. And so I would recommend this. Like I would recommend to buy it. I wish it was like, there was a dupe that's just like it for like $85. I will get it. But other than that, I think that it works really great on your hair. I hope y'all liked the video. I hope y'all subscribe and comment down below any other video suggestions that y'all would like me to do. And bye!